I've discovered a mutilated body. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. <laughs> 